There is a hidden symphony in the vast expanse of space. Planets, moons, and black holes resonate with sounds we are only beginning to understand. On Earth, sound is part of our everyday life. But what happens when we go out into the cosmic vacuum where there's no air for sound to propagate? What we've discovered with modern instruments is a revelation. The thundering sonic booms of Jupiter's massive magnetic field, a powerful force that creates waves that travel millions of miles. The eerie radio waves of Saturn, a planet surrounded by rings singing a haunting melody. Traveling with Voyager 1, we captured the very essence of the edge of our solar system, a frontier where human ears have never ventured. And immersing ourselves in a symphony of sounds organized by a supermassive black hole in the Perseus Cluster. But what do these celestial bodies sound like? How can we hear them? And what do these sounds mean? In this audio odyssey, we'll explore the science behind these sounds. We'll learn what they say about our universe and their significance for our understanding of the cosmos. On Earth, sound is as natural as the air we breathe. It's the splash of waves, the rustle of leaves, the heartbeat of life itself. But what is sound? At its essence, sound is a vibration, a dance of molecules carried in a medium such as air or water. It's a wave, a rhythmic movement that reaches our ears and turns into melodies and sounds we recognize. From the gentle splash of a lake to the roaring thunder of a waterfall, sound paints the landscape of our world. It is science, the physics of waves and frequencies but it's also art and a symphony of nature. But what happens when we leave the familiar embrace of the Earth? There's no air in the cosmic vacuum and no medium to transmit vibration. Is the cosmos really silent? An astronaut floating in the void would hear nothing, not even his own breathing. And this silence would be profound, absolute a reminder of the vast emptiness that extends beyond our world. But space is not without sound. It is filled with radio waves, electromagnetic vibrations that echo across its vastness. How can we hear this cosmic echo? How do we translate the inaudible into something understandable to our ears? It's a challenge that's prompted scientists and engineers to create unusual instruments radio telescopes that pick up the faintest signals, and space probes that listen to the vibrations of distant planets. Voyager's golden record, A Message to the Stars, carries the sounds of Earth, but beyond that, the Voyager probe also listens. The space probe is equipped with instruments that detect and record signals from the universe. These signals provide information about cosmic events and phenomena, allowing scientists to analyze and understand them. This process is a continuous exchange of data between our world and the cosmos. With the help of technology, we're turning cosmic vibrations into sonic sensations. We can hear the rings of Saturn, the magnetic field of Jupiter, and even the distant roar of a black hole. Take a look at Jupiter, the gas giant the king of the planets that outshines all others in our solar system. A world of tumult and mystery, where the very fabric of nature resonates with power and majesty. At the heart of Jupiter's greatness is the magnetic field, a force so immense that it extends beyond Saturn's orbit. It's a magnetic conductor, orchestrating a symphony of waves and particles. Space probes such as Voyager and Juno, equipped with instruments to detect and analyze magnetic waves, have ventured closer to the giant. What they have found is a world filled with sonic booms, vibrations that resonate for millions of miles. These sonic booms are created by the interaction of charged particles with Jupiter's magnetic field. It's a dance of electrons and ions that result in waves powerful enough for our technology to detect. 
Compared to Earth's magnetic field, Jupiter's field is nearly 20,000 times more powerful than Earth's. It's a force that shapes the environment, influencing the behavior of the moons and even the solar wind. But what do these sonic booms sound like? How do we translate the magnetic vibrations into something our ears can perceive? Scientists have used technology to turn these magnetic waves into audible sounds. It's a roaring, thundering noise that reflects the turbulence and complexity of Jupiter's atmosphere. The sounds provide a glimpse of the gas giant's storms, including the famous Great Red Spot, a storm larger than the Earth that has raged for centuries. They reveal the dynamics of the atmosphere, the winds, the pressures, and the very essence of a world in constant motion. In its turbulent atmosphere also lurks an unexpected melody, a serenade that resonates with birdsong. Welcome to the cosmic symphony of Jupiter's chirping birds. The chirping of Jupiter's birds is not a sound you'd expect from the planet. This phenomenon, detected by the Voyager space probe, is a series of electromagnetic waves. These waves are the result of the interaction of charged particles with Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. They create oscillations, vibrations that when translated into sound, resemble the chirping of birds. But what creates these unique sounds? What is the science behind the song? The answer lies in Jupiter's atmosphere, a turbulent world of storms, winds, and magnetic forces. The chirping of birds is created by charged particles, electrons, and ions that dance with Jupiter's magnetic field. It's a ballet of physics that results in a melody unlike any other. Space probes equipped with sensitive instruments detect these electromagnetic waves. They are then converted into sound, allowing us to hear this cosmic serenade, the chirping of birds that travels millions of kilometers. Understanding Jupiter's sonic booms and its bird chirps is more than just an auditory experience. It's the key to unlocking the secrets of the gas giant's atmosphere. It reveals the dynamics of the magnetic field, the behavior of charged particles, and the very essence of the world in constant motion beyond our reach. In the shadow of Jupiter, a world of ice and stone rotates silently. Ganymede, the largest satellite in our solar system, is a place of mystery and intrigue. But within its icy surface, a voice is heard, a whisper, telling the story of the cosmos. Welcome to the mystical whisper of Ganymede. This satellite has its magnetic field, a rare trait among moons as we've already released a video about on this channel. And in that magnetic field lies its voice. The Juno space probe has detected magnetic vibrations, vibrations that resonate in the icy shell of Ganymede. These vibrations, translated into sound, become whispers, soft mumblings that speak of Ganymede's hidden world. Ganymede's whispers may contain clues about its interior, a subterranean ocean that may contain life. They reveal the dynamics of the moon's magnetic field, its interaction with Jupiter's vast influence, and the secrets hidden in its icy embrace. Located in Jupiter's neighborhood is ringed Saturn, a planet that's captured the imagination of poets and scientists alike. Its beauty is undeniable, but the sounds it makes are a mystery that beckons explorers. Saturn isn't just a visual marvel. It's an acoustic mystery. The planet emits radio waves, a phenomenon first detected by the Voyager spacecraft. These waves are not random. They represent a coded message from deep within Saturn's atmosphere. What causes these radio waves? Some are the result of lightning strikes in Saturn's turbulent atmosphere. Others are more mysterious and related to the planet's magnetic field and the dance of charged particles. The Cassini spacecraft spent more than a decade studying Saturn, and its instruments provided a wealth of data. Radio waves have been converted into sound, an eerie, frightening noise that resonates within the unknown. 
Unlike Earth, where radio waves are largely man-made, Saturn's radio emissions are a natural phenomenon. It provides insight into the planet's weather, its magnetic environment, and the complex interactions that shape this gas giant. But the mystery of Saturn's sounds doesn't end with its radio waves. The rings themselves, those very bands of ice and dust, contribute to the planet's soundscape. The rings are not silent. They vibrate. They resonate. Cassini's recordings of the rings capture the very gravity-driven melody. Particles inside the rings collide and interact, creating waves that can be detected by sensitive instruments. The sounds of Saturn's rings are key to understanding the structure, composition, and dynamics of the rings. They tell a story of formation and evolution, a story that echoes the history of our solar system. So let's get back to our pioneering probe. In 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft embarked on a journey that changed our understanding of space. A distant messenger and a discoverer, Voyager 1's odyssey is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. The journey of Voyager 1 has been a grand voyage of discovery through our solar system. From the thunderclouds of Jupiter to the enigmatic rings of Saturn, it was a voyage of discovery that expanded our horizons. The images sent back by Voyager 1 were a revelation. The swirling storms of Jupiter, the icy beauty of Saturn's rings, the blue mystery of Uranus, and the distant majesty of Neptune. Each encounter was a milestone of discovery. However, the journey of the spacecraft did not end at the planets. It continued, going deeper into the unknown, crossing the border of our solar system and entering interstellar space. Mankind's first step into the cosmic wilderness. At the edge of our solar system is the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind meets interstellar medium. Voyager 1 has crossed this threshold and in doing so has picked up sounds and vibrations that resonate with the fabric of space. These sounds are inaudible to a human ear, but through technology they've been transformed into something we can hear. The hum, the murmur, the distant echo of the cosmic sea. But what do these sounds mean? These vibrations are a key to understanding the environment beyond our solar system a glimpse of the interstellar medium, and a link to the universe as a whole. They reveal the properties of plasma, charged particles, and magnetic fields that permeate the cosmos. They shed light on processes such as star formation, the behavior of supernovae, and cosmic rays. They provide a glimpse into the fundamental forces that shape the universe. The data collected by Voyager 1 serves as a tool for future exploration. It informs us about interstellar space, guiding future missions, and enhancing our ability to navigate the cosmic sea. The sounds captured by Voyager 1 are truly a scientific treasure trove. They signify that we've stepped outside our home and listened to the whispers of space. We already realize that sound cannot exist in space because of the vacuum, which is a common misconception. This is further confirmed by the cluster of galaxies which provide a medium for the propagation of sound waves. 250 million light years away is the Perseus Cluster, a collection of galaxies bound by gravity. It's home to a supermassive black hole that orchestrates a cosmic symphony. The black hole in the Perseus Cluster is more than just a dark void. It shapes the environment influencing the behavior of galaxies, stars, and even the fabric of the universe itself. Around the black hole's event horizon, matter twists into an accretion disk, a whirlpool of gas and dust that emits X-rays and radio waves. These waves cover everything in the neighborhood up to 30,000 light years away and pulsate the ultra-hot gases that make up the galactic cluster. The waves have been detected by instruments like the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, which can be converted into sound. They are a symphony of gravity and melody reflecting the dance of mass and space-time. 
Scientists have resynthesized these pressure waves into sound waves that humans can hear. By increasing the frequency of the sound wave by 144 quadrillion times, the Perseus sound becomes audible. Sounding black holes is a pioneering attempt to hear the universe. By matching electromagnetic radiation with the audible tones, scientists have created sonic representations of cosmic phenomena. The brightest and loudest parts represent the black hole itself, with the sound fluctuating depending on the jets of the radiation emitted. Contrary to the belief that sound cannot exist in space, clusters of galaxies provide a medium for sound waves. In the Perseus cluster, sound waves were made audible by scaling them upward by 57 and 58 octaves, allowing listeners to hear waves emitted in different directions. Sounding black holes such as M87 in the Perseus galaxy cluster provide insight into black hole dynamics and charged particle behavior. This ongoing project led by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and NASA's Universe of Learning program offers a unique way to explore the symphony of the cosmos. From the unique auditory phenomena of Jupiter and Saturn to the distant messages of Voyager at the end of our system and beyond, this journey resonates with the essence of being. But it's not finished. It's only beginning. The universe is vast and its mysteries endless. There are more sounds to hear, more mysteries to explore, and more questions to ponder. Stay curious, keep exploring, and never forget the inspiring melody of the universe. <laughs>